If you grew up in the early 90s and loved watching Disney classic sport films, odds are you cherish the Mighty Ducks trilogy. In fact, the Mighty Duck trilogy's commercial success paved the way for an animated series, theme park, and hotel attractions, even a National Hockey League franchise. With the reboot released on March 26th, you gotta wonder, where did they film all of this? Are these arenas and places real? Today we're gonna take a deep dive into the main locations of the new Mighty Ducks film, Game Changers. The Mighty Ducks film franchise begins with a Minneapolis-based attorney, Gordon Bombay, was pulled over for drunk driving and sentenced to 500 hours of community service, coaching youth hockey. Bombay meets the District 5 Pee Wee hockey team known as perennial losers who finish at the bottom of the league standings year after year. The players learn Bombay was once a player for the Hawks, a team in the same league, but left hockey because of a failed attempt at a penalty shot at the end of regulation, causing them to lose lose in overtime, and costing them a Pee Wee Championship. With the help of Coach Bombay, the players learn the fundamentals of the sport. Soon enough, the District 5 team, now Chris and the Ducks, start winning games and manage to make the playoffs, reaching the finals. Bombay faces the Hawks, the team he grew up playing for. Fittingly, the Ducks win the title game on a penalty shot by Bombay's protege, Charlie Conway. This 1992 cult classic led to two more films being released in 1994 and 1996. In case you didn't know, the new Mighty Ducks Game Changers film was filmed in Vancouver and the surrounding areas, and it definitely had a ton of memorable locations. So where do the Mighty Ducks play? What other locations are included? We'll take a look at the filming locations of Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you on Famous Entertainment, and today we're trying something a little different. We're going to check out a brand new movie, well, the most recent version of it, that is, Disney's Mighty Ducks Game Changers, and we're gonna break down the film locations. We'll see which of your favorite spots from the film actually exist in Vancouver, which don't, and more. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Filming was originally scheduled to begin on February 18, 2020 and wrap up on June 11, 2020. After filming was underway in early 2020 as planned, the pandemic caused production to shut down temporarily. Filming resumed in September 2020 and was wrapped up in December 2020. The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, like other films in the franchise, is set in Minnesota, which is famously known as a hockey crazy state. However, the series is actually filmed in British Columbia, Canada on location and sets. Vancouver is the primary filming location of the series, and like most cities in Canada, Vancouver has hockey engraved in its culture as an extremely popular sport in the city. Likewise, it has become a popular hub for film and television production since the beginning of the century. Let's be honest, Vancouver is known in the entertainment industry as Hollywood North for a reason. The series is filmed partially on location in Vancouver and on sets built to resemble Minnesota. Most of the ice hockey scenes take place at the Peony Agrodome, a sports arena located on Hastings Street in Vancouver. It's Established in 1963, the area is used for many indoor sporting events. It's not as big as a major arena as it can only hold about 5,000 fans maximum and it is most notably used by the World Wrestling Entertainment WWE for shows of its NXT brand. This arena is no stranger to hosting filming locations for iconic sports movies as the venue played the Soviet arena in the fight between Rocky Balboa and Ivan Drago in the movie Rocky IV. The location was also portrayed by another Disney hockey movie, as it served as the Olympic Center in Lake Placid, New York for the film Miracle. The Peony has also appeared in films such as Slapshot 2 and hometown kid Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. The Peony Agrodome has also hosted concerts by some of the world's biggest rock acts on their early tours. Some of these include the Rolling Stones in 1965, Bob Dylan in 1966, The Who in 1967, and Led Zeppelin twice in 1969, as well as much more. So even though the arena is pretty small compared to world-class arenas like Madison Square Garden, it still hosted some pretty cool films and musicians. 
When filming resumed on February 18th, a notice of filming permit circulated around the internet, showing that 100 Powell Street, home to the famous warehouse studio, was the primary location for the Mighty Ducks Game Changer series. With many temporary no-stopping zones posted, it appears the Mighty Ducks made good use of Gastown. One exterior scene showed a car pulling up to the Cora building and the character exits the vehicle, walking to the back entrance of 100 Powell Street. What you may not know is that Warehouse Studios is a multimedia recording facility and photography studio in Gastown, Vancouver's trendiest spot, owned by Canadian musician Brian Adams. Built in 1886 as a supply warehouse and wholesale grocer, it was later made into service as City Hall, Jail and Morgue after the Great Fire of that same year devastated Vancouver. Saved from the flames and with a future as a parking lot in 1988, the Oppenheimer building was restored, structurally upgraded, and reborn as the warehouse studio in 1997. Adams was sure to maintain the building's character and charm by preserving the original brick and beam construction. The project took nearly a decade to complete. In 1998, the warehouse studio received a City of Vancouver Heritage Award for outstanding restoration of a historic building. While he was on tour, Adams would allow other bands to record and mix there. And some of the notable musicians that did would astound you. We're talking ACDC, Billy Joel, Metallica, and Van Halen, just to name a few. The warehouse studio offers a wide range of services, film and recording equipment, and features four different studios for photography and film. The three floor building has a massive main studio on the second floor and a mixing suite on the third. There are two lounge kitchens for bands to unwind, not to mention plenty of natural light streaming through the large windows. The spacious film and photography studio is over 1,800 square feet and boasts 25 foot ceilings, filled with natural light from our west facing windows with shutters. In addition, the studio features two more rooms for hair, makeup, and wardrobe, and comes complete with a walk-in shower and an additional full-size kitchen. Next, located to the east of Vancouver, Burnaby is the secondary filming location of the series. A few sequences seen in the show's first season were filmed in the city, which lies within the Metro Vancouver Regional District region. Its proximity to Vancouver makes it a great choice for shooting scenes that couldn't be otherwise filmed in the former city. In fact, Burnaby is no stranger to appearing in film and television, as it has hosted popular productions such as Supernatural and Man of Steel, which have also been filmed in the city. It has been reported that all three Abbotsford hockey rinks were used during shooting, including the Abbotsford Center, the rinks at Summit Center, and the Abbotsford Ice Rink. Needless to say, it appears the series will have no shortage of ice hockey scenes. So of course there were more notable spots in the upcoming Mighty Ducks Game Changer series, but this time it was filmed in North Vancouver, Canada, also known as Hollywood North. What did you guys think? What did you think of the locations and will you be watching the new Mighty Ducks? It's fascinating that a small dinky arena in Vancouver has had so much history. I mean we're talking about Rocky, Deadpool and now Disney, not to mention all those big musicians who had toured here before they made it. And how about Brian Adams recording studio? Didn't realize so many musicians musicians recorded there too, not to mention all of the films. This is a newer series, so if you liked it, be sure to let me know what other films we should cover, whether they're classics or brand new ones. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!